And I've had some embarrassing moments in my life, you guys. Like, that was just the first. And uh, yeah, there's more. So we go, now we go to college, right? College. I thought I made it through my life without all the embarrassing stuff. But I, got it, I get to college, and I had two scholarships in college. Uh, I had uh, competitively fought, I got a judo scholarship, so judo martial art. Competitively fought in judo from age four to 22. Even competed in the uh, Junior Olympics when I was 17 years old. So yeah, did some cool stuff with it. Uh, but I got a scholarship. And uh, here's the thing about judo, guys. It's throws, chokes, pins, and arm bar. There's no judo kick or chop, okay? It's just throws, chokes, pins, and arm bars. Now I was pretty good at the chokes. All right, I knew the chokes pretty well. Now you know you got a good choke by the sound the person's making when you're choking them, okay? <laughs> yeah, now if they're just like, that means you almost got it, okay? It's the squeak on the end when you know you really got it locked in. They're like, you know? The reason I know this, because before I passed out, that's the sound I made, you know what I mean? It's very difficult. So I had that scholarship in judo, and I was also, I got a scholarship for being the mascot at my college. Now, I'm an eagle. We are the eagles, right? And I look like seven foot tall in this thing. I got a big muscle suit, big huge head, right? And I'm going, and we're doing a basketball game. I'm doing my thing, I'm dancing, I'm doing all this stuff. Then the other mascot of the other team decides to want to mess with me. Yeah, it was the snow badger, is what it was. It was a snow badger. Right, and they're the badger. They, they didn't have the muscle suit. They, was very, they could move and do all this stuff. I'm very, very boxy and stuff. But they pushed me in my back. Pushed me in the back. Went, you know, you can't talk because you're a mascot, so you're doing body language stuff, right? It's like, what, you want to, you know? They pushed me. They go straight in for a double leg takedown, guys. If you notice, it's right in. But I have the judo background, just came right through. Yeah, come right here. I get right underneath the arm and just whoosh. And their feet go whoop and bam! That floor, that place shook, you guys. It shook. The whole crowd's like, oh! And I'm just like this. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, you know. I do one of these. I'm like, by the end, you know. Feeling so good about myself. Turns out it was a woman. Uh, felt terrible. I just feel so terrible after. I'm like, I am so sorry. Why did you come at me like that? You know. It's just, She's like, I didn't know you were going to throw me on the ground. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you were a badger. I was a beagle. I don't know. <laughs> it's terrible. I was, I was totally embarrassed, man. It was crazy. Oh, another embarrassing time. It's more than the adult time. I, I went to the beach, you guys, and uh, went in the ocean. Um, I'm terrified of the ocean. There's stuff in there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. <laughs> Things in the ocean. And so I go in the ocean, I'm all by myself, you know, I'm all by myself, chilling out. I, I worked on cruise ships, that's why I don't just go to random beaches by myself like a creeper. <laughs> so so I'm, uh, I'm in the water, everything's fine, I'm hanging out with my dad bods all, all out and everything, and uh, yeah, it's a total dad bod thing going on over here. Yeah, I take this jacket off, it's like a biscuits can, just poof, it comes flying out. To avoid sharp corners, it's terrible. All right, so I'm in the water, Everything's going great till I feel this poof, right in the side of my leg. Something hits me like, and out of nowhere, I'm just like, ah! like scream. So I bet everybody, so loud, people are running out of the water, right? They're freaking out. They run out of the water, I'm screaming. And I'm, I'm, if, I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry, it's fine, it's all right, it's just seaweed. Give me the leg, guys, come back in the water. It's okay, I felt like a complete idiot, right? But then this big buff dude saved me, okay? This big buff dude, he didn't carry me out of the water like a baby, all right? He just looked like a bigger idiot than me because he had the, this is, we're talking, this guy was no neck big, guys. Bodybuilder, you know what I'm talking about when their head just grows into their shoulders. They do that big guy walk like this, right? And he's wearing a Speedo, so it's very uncomfortable for everybody anyway. Right? Comes in the water. Now he's yell. He, call, he turns back towards the beach. He starts yelling at his lady. She heard me scream. She's scared. She thinks there's sharks in there and stuff, right? He's like, babe! Babe! Come on in here, babe! Babe, get back in the water. There's no sharks here. I'll punch you in the face. Just come on, get in here, right? So I figure I'm going to mess with this guy, right? He's about from me to the end of the stage. So what I did is I grabbed that seaweed that hit me in the leg, right? and I just tossed it at him. 
and I hit him right where the neck would be if he had one. <laughs> I'd never seen a man run on water before, but it was impressive. That guy was gone. He's like, ah! like he was out of there. But I'll tell you this, as soon as I threw that seaweed, I became a Navy SEAL, went under the water. I was just like, <laughs> just did short breaths all the way down the beach because he would have murdered me.